Welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code this side so in this video we are going to discuss the question prime pair with target sum the question is actually very simple the question says that you haven't provided with an input suppose your input is 10 and you have to tell me whether 10 is expressible as a sum of x plus y but the conditions are that x comma y both should be primes they should be prime numbers Secondly, x plus y equals to 10. These are the two conditions you have to follow. If there is a pair such that x plus y equals to 10, in that case, return x comma y. Otherwise, return minus 1 comma minus 1. That is the whole question to you. Now, how will you solve it? How will you solve it? Suppose, for example, 10. What are the prime numbers less than equals to 10? So, 2 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number. 5 is a prime number. 7 is a prime number. These are the only four prime numbers. And if I try to sum 3 with 7, I can see that 10 is there. And 3 and 7 both are prime, so my answer will be 3 comma 7 for 10. 3 comma 7 for 10. But what is my approach? What is my approach? Okay. So my simplest approach, the brute force approach, will be something like this. Brute force approach will be something like this. What will I do? I will start with i equals to 0. Up till not i equals to 0, I will start with i equals to 2. Why i equals to 2? Because 2 is the smallest prime number, right? 2 up till n, right? And what is the second thing? for j equals to uh, again for sorry for j not j but i will say for i will say j equals to what is the pairing element so it will be n minus i so if i is prime is prime function of i and is prime function of j both are returning true then only it is your answer in that case return i comma j return i comma j otherwise return minus 1 comma minus 1 because you were not able to find a pair right this is my basic template for the optimized version as well but the main difference lies in the is prime factor how can i calculate a number to be is prime how can i calculate to a number to be is prime so the basic one is go from 2 to root n and if you find a factor return false go from 2 to root n and if you find a factor for the given n in that case return false this is a basic implementation it runs in o of root n times it runs in o of root n times but my 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 expectation for you is to write the optimized code so how will you do it so i learned in school some a technique what is a technique so suppose i want you to find all the prime numbers up till 10 i want you to find all the prime numbers up till 10 right so what are the prime what are the numbers actually so it is 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So my school book actually wrote me a technique. What does it say? It says, consider all of them as prime. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. That is 1 is representing the number is prime. 1 is representing the number is prime. And 0 will represent the number is not prime. That is equals to composite. Right? We know that 1 is not prime. So change it to 0. Change it to 0. Now start a loop. Start a loop. From 2, you see that 2 is prime. 2 is prime. See, if 2 doesn't have a factor in the previous part of 2, it cannot have a factor in the right part. It cannot have a factor in the 3 to 10, right? It can only have a factor from 1, 2, etc, etc. But it doesn't have a factor. That is why it is prime. So, okay. Now, delete all the factors of 2. Delete all the factors of 2. Delete means change them to not prime. That is, all the factors of 2 are 4 change it to 0, 6, change it to 0, 8, change it to 0, 10, change it to 0, right, move on, coming to 3, 3 doesn't, 3 is also e, uh, 1 right now, Matlab, 3 is also prime, 3 is also prime, delete all the factors of 3, 6, already 0, 9, change it to 0, coming to 4, it is 0, so it is not a prime, coming to 5, 5 is also prime because it is 1 right now, okay, change all the factors, so 10, already 0, moving to 7, 7 is also prime, now 7 doesn't have a factor in the list, but if the list would going up till 14, then it would obviously change it to 0, right? Okay. Now, these are the prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, right? This is my technique. This general technique is actually famously known as sieve of erysthesis. Sieve of erysthesis. If the spelling is wrong, please don't mind because I really don't know the spelling. I really know the concept only, right? Okay, so we will apply this algorithm only. We will create a vector of length n plus 1, of length n plus 1, right? And it will mark us whether it is prime or not so that we can get our answers in O of 1 time. O of 1 time. So how will it look like something like? So I want to get up till 10. I want to get up till 10. So I will have to make an array of length 11. So vector 
int primes of length n plus 1 Co call them all 1 now primes of 0 equals to primes of 1 equals to 0 that is number 0 and number 1 are not prime now start your loop so for i going from 2 up till n what will you do you will start your j for sorry if my prime i equals to equals to 1 only then you will do something like this right for j equals to 2 now j star i less than equals to n j plus plus what is this what is this so for 2 i was actually starting converting 4 6 that is 2 into 2 that for 3 i was starting with 2 into 3 so 2 in i was multiplying 2 first factor was 2 j equals to 2 j star i less than equals to n j plus plus what will you do you will say primes of j star i equals to 0 and after this loop you will get an array of primes you will get an array of primes if one then if, if, if at a particular index one uh, the primes contain one that means a number is prime otherwise it is not prime that simple as that so this is my basic template right and this is my is prime function right i can actually merge the is prime function into the driver function only which i will do right so let us move to the code now Alright, so here is the coding section as you can see but before starting with the code I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel because it really motivates me and do like the video if you are able to understand the concept if you are able to grasp the concept right now what will I do first I will create the vector of int primes of length n plus 1 initialize all of them by 1 change 0 and 1 to 0 0 and primes of 0 primes of 1 is also equals to 0 now start with 2 that is for int i going from 2 i less than equals to n i plus plus and j will go from 2 because the first multiple i have to take is 2 star i so for j equals to 2 j star i less than equals to n and j plus plus what will you do you will say primes of j star i equals to 0 but before that if my prime if my is number is not prime in that case continue so if primes of i equals to equal to 0 continue right move to the next number which is prime okay this is my case for the c of hysteresis now what will you do you will start a loop for int i going from 0 i less than equals to n i plus plus you can go up till n by 2 also that will also return the same result right my j will go uh, int j equals to n minus i if both of them are prime that is primes of i is equals to 1 and primes of j equals to 1 in that case return i comma j i comma j otherwise at last return minus 1 comma minus 1 that's all let us try to compile and run it it should run fine i guess should not give any error it is running fine for the sample test case let us try it for the submit also please run fine and it is running okay so you can see 184 district so thank you for watching hope you liked it Please subscribe if you are new here and do not forget to hit the like button. Thank you. Have a nice day.